En esta lectura leeré un artículo sobre el hecho de que muchos padres guardan muchos recuerdos en casa, que a veces los hijos, cuando se vuelven adultos, no los aprecian o quieren conservar cuando se mudan. A seismic shift of stuff is underway in homes all over America. Members of the generation that once embraced sex, drugs, and rock and roll are trying to offload their stuff. Their offspring don't want them. As baby boomers born between 1946 and 1964 start cleaning out attics and basements, Many are discovering that millennials, born between 1980 and 2000, are not so interested in the lifestyle trappings or nostalgic memorabilia they were so lovingly raised with. Whether becoming empty nesters, downsizing, or just finally embracing the decluttering movement, boomers are taking a good close look at the things they have spent their life collecting. Their children appear to have lost any sentimental attachment to their adorable baby shoes and family heirloom quilts. To make matters worse, Young adults don't seem to want their own college textbooks, sports trophies, or t-shirt collections, still entombed in plastic containers at their parents' homes. The twenty and thirty-somethings don't appear to be defined by their possessions, other than their latest generation cell phones. My parents are always trying to give us stuff, says Josh Phillips. It's stuff like bunches of old photos and documents, old bowls or cocktail glasses. We hate clutter. We would rather spend money on experiences. I consider myself a digital hoarder. If I can store my memories of something in a computer, I'm probably not going to keep them around. Ahora leeremos algunos comentarios. My mom didn't understand why I put up my entire childhood on eBay. I just didn't want that stuff anymore. I'm not sentimental. I don't want a lot of physical possessions. I want a few nice things and that's it. All things, including human beings, end up in a dumpster eventually. Some dumpsters might be shiny, rectangular, with brass handles and lowered gently into the landfill. Those are for us. But the point is, all things must pass. Don't guilt trip your kids into taking junk you became irrationally attached to. When I was the age of the millennials, I also had no interest in accumulating stuff. But as you get older, marry, have kids, You appreciate the photo albums and the silver sets. When the millennials' kids are leaving home, they will wish they asked more questions and valued more of the keepsakes of their families. You know, if all the nice furniture is going into the used furniture stores because people are downsizing, That means I have a great opportunity to get some better living room furniture. Cheap. This is exciting. My kids were happy to take our stuff when we downsized. 
we furnished two kids' first apartments. They have since gone on to replace most of it, but there is nothing better than getting your first apartment right out of college without having to buy a thing to furnish it. I like to see the facts behind this article. My generation was the worst hit by the recession and has not recovered. I don't know many people who would refuse free furniture or can afford to. This article represents the media's bias towards my generation and not anything factual or interesting. I think anyone is happy for a high quality freebie, but it has to fit in our space. Large sofas, dining sets, etc. don't fit in smaller homes. My childhood dresser would take up half my living room. As I said below, I have a lot of my grandparents' furniture. It was smaller and better made. I appreciate the generosity, but not every item is useful, wanted, or even reasonable to take.